we only have like a few weeks left of this green greenery. It's going to go away soon. All of these hills will turn brown and then we have to wait for another year. I like spring the most around San Francisco, all around Bay Area in fact, just feels awesome. So I enjoy the sounds of the nature and just looking at all this injury while it lasts. You wouldn't be able to hear like these bird sounds in any other season, it's mostly just spring. Usually it's pretty foggy in the mornings here, so it's not usual to get a lot of sunlight in the morning. So yeah, we could uh, try to go find some lupins on that side maybe, because I don't see any here, so we might have to go that way. I used to shoot street photography while I was in India, but then once I moved here, I started getting more into landscapes because there's so much nature and it's so accessible. Uh, which is kind of different from how it was back in India. Like nature is good in India too, but it's pretty hard to get to places. So I think once I got here, I started visiting new national parks and state parks because of photography, I guess. I wanted to photograph certain flowers this spring. So I kind of keep thinking about where to find them, what light, what type, and the weather. Usually these hills have flowers. Just this year I've been here like three times uh, and I can overall probably 10-15 times. It's a lot of waiting around. Yeah, that's what we do, that's all we do. We have to wait for the light. We get to shoot only for like 10-15 minutes. The light is good for a very short period of time. Bunch of flowers is trying to catch the light. It's kind of standing out against the background. So I'm basically trying to single out these buds and then trying to get the foreground and the background uh, out of focus. So trying to basically clear, create some depth using the depth of field. I kind of want to show this uh, sea of flowers and then focus on one single flower in there. I'm shooting with the Tamron 35 to 150 f2 to f2.8. And I kind of like this because of the wide open aperture so I can get things out of focus. And it is really sharp so I can still get the details on, on the flowers I'm focusing on. So it creates like a nice compression and bokeh. Try to find good light, good composition and I just like flowers in general so anything flowers is good. I was here just last week and there was a storm passing through the valley and we got some really nice storm clouds, some rain. I've been chasing rainbows for a while and this is the first time I saw like a complete double rainbow. We wake up every morning and try your luck. That's the fun part of it. <laughs>